check this out. We've finally got the full set in the series from XK. They look real nice, don't they? A lot of fun to fly too. As it shows on the box, you can plug in a micro receiver. I'm no expert, but I'm guessing you can plug in any type of micro receiver you like, any sort of protocol you use. So, so you can use any radio basically. That's real handy, isn't it? I use a Radio Master, so protocols don't really matter for me. First up, I'll show you that I wanted to know whether you can bind any of these original radios to any of the birds. And guess what? You can. So that's real handy to know, isn't it? Because if you've seen our our made in crash video on the rare bear where this radio is a dud so that's going to go in the bin if you can see on there there's a board and we've got all four birds haven't we so that's a complete series i'm guessing i like to plug the battery in first gonna turn on my p40 radio Blinking fast, solid light there, and we're bound. That's pretty good with my P40 radio. Plug it in again. With my Trojan radio. There we go. Band again with the Trojan radio. Trojan to the P40 radio. P40 radio. And we're all working. That's real handy. I haven't tried them all yet, all the combinations, but I've tried a couple of them. So that's pretty good. Now I should be able to have another go on our air bear with the original radio. So I'll do another video for you and I'll tell you how it flies with the original radio. One thing you need to know with these micro receivers, well this one does come with a set of wires which is real handy. So that little plug gets plugged in the back of the receiver which is real good. But the other end comes with these big plugs so they're way too big for our little birds. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get yourself one of these micro JST plugs, aren't you? And you gotta have to do a little bit of soldering to solder your receiver to this micro plug. I've actually cut cut these plugs off an old XK plane. So it plugs into the back of the board like this and and as you can see there it's the same plug as which is on the servo isn't it i did cut it off one of my other planes so our color order goes in the same same way yellows at the back in the middle your power i'm guessing that is is it your red one's a power the brown is the ground so there you go there's my discontinued receiver so on this one um, I didn't use the brown wire which is PPM I used the yellow wire which is S bus and then the red one is power I'm guessing and then the top one black one is ground so it's on my discontinued receiver FR Sky Pro if you do watch my other videos 
this one is discontinued now but I thought I'd start off with this one run over quickly so if you do purchase one of these fly sky micro receivers A8S um, this comes with a manual which is real handy so as you can see here it's basically the same wiring order the ground the VCC I don't know what that means it gets us power S bus or PPM so you either use PPM or you use S bus here's our P40 with our fly sky micro receiver A8S um, there's our wiring my colors are a little bit different I've got a different plug on this one so we've got the ground the power and the signal S bus but the problem that I had the S bus this white wire here actually does say on the front here S bus and then PPM is the last one um, this S white S bus wire didn't work I don't know why I don't know I'm just a beginner I just solder it up plug it in see if it works didn't work so I tried the PPM wire this yellow wire and that one works a bit different to the other receiver but that's how you have to wire in this one and here's our rear bear I've wired in a little bit cheaper receiver this one here same protocol as our fly sky this um, 2A protocol is real good a little bit cheaper receiver on the website there's no wiring diagram but it is wired the same as our fly sky receiver which is good so here we are again for some reason we don't use the s bus this yellow wire we have to use the ppm the brown wire so and this black one's the ground and the red for your power and you don't use that s bus wire got to use the ppm plugged in the back port all plugged up ready to go now actually binding these micro receivers to your radio I found a little bit hard um, you really need to do um, two people I had to get my brother because you got to plug in the battery and hold you got to hold that little bind button at the same time you plug your power in which is very hard to do I can't do that I had to get my brother to come over and help me with this as you can see here there's the bind button on your fly sky receiver can be a bit hard to push in because it has this this plastic wrap on it this cheaper one is a little bit easier to push that little button so to bind these micro receivers have your radio ready ready to bind get your friend to plug in the power while you hold the bind button on either one of these of course then while it's flashing while it's in bind mode push the bind on your radio and you should be right so there's a the protocol I'm using on these micro receivers fly sky 2a and this um, sub protocol seemed to work best for me this PWM S bus because it has got a few options for this protocol and you can number your receivers if you need to if you're flying with your mates remember to number your receivers so another difference from this is a discontinued receiver and I think I know why they discontinued it because when I went to bind a fly sky receiver every channel was reversed every channel in my radio was reversed so that's why the throttle was reversed if you did watch my my other videos on how to bind to the XK models so now now I've actually got the timer working so that's real handy so now it's back working the way it should good to see they they discontinued something that didn't work I do have got my timer set for 10 minutes but it will fly longer you can get up to 14 minutes so there's my rates 100% for the self level mode and then I was flying around the rear bear on the 70% on the ailerons 80% out 
elevator and they were pretty good and where's my rudder rudder is at 80 percent yes but all this is the same as the p40 exactly the same setup as the p40 and look at this my throttle was going the right way too throttle is going the right way so if you look at the other video you will see that the throttle was reversed and like channel one was was 100 percent but now it's minus 100 percent have got the throttle to elevator mix that's how you set that up 20 percent weight and you have to do the 20 percent offset i have it on the switch so it works only so it only works on the self-level mode. That's how I've got that set. That SD switch. There's our rudder. There's our rudder mix. And for some reason you don't need the offset. I don't know what that is about. I've got no idea. I'm only a beginner. I just do what works. 50% weight. Minus 50% but it's 50% same as our P40 and again I have that set on the switch so that it only works on the self level mode you want it to turn off in the stunt mode don't want those to work on the stunt mode and there's my gyro I have it so that I have two self levels if I panic I can just flick that up and down, whichever, you know, and it will self-level. That's what's so good about the self-level, because it can be hard to fly in the stunt mode. So if you panic, you just grab onto that, and it'll self-level for you, and hopefully you won't hit the ground. So I hope this helps someone. I've showed you how to wire up three different receivers. Two of them wired up the same, our two FlySky receivers, and then the FR Sky receiver is wired up a little bit different. Um, that uses S bus, these two use the PPM wire. I don't know why, I'm only a beginner, but hopefully this is good enough for you, hopefully this helps you. So I had to grab one of these other radios and fly a rear bear for you. So look out for that video with the original radio. Hopefully it will fly perfect. Hopefully um, we won't crash it. We don't like crashing our rear bear. It's a nice looking bird. So until then, thanks for watching.